District 10, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome, give a round of applause for Brother Shaman Walton. And after he comes, we'll hear from Figo. Thank you, Brother Vance. What's up, people? And since we're here Sunday with the faith-based community, I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, Black children... Children. Matter. Children. Turn to your other neighbor okay. and say, Black babies, Black babies. Matter. matter. Turn to your other neighbor and say, Black people, Black people. and Black lives, Black lives. Matter. matter. Turn to the police <laughs> and say to the police, your badge, Your badge does not give you, not give you the, right the right to kill black people. We are all here because we are angry. And unfortunately, the devastation and a systemic focus on exterminating black men and black people did not start with George Floyd. There is a reason why we started at the killing place of Mario Woods. And even long before Mario Woods, we've continued to see law enforcement focus on exterminating, exterminating black men. It started in slavery, continued through segregation, continued with mass incarceration, which is still the main focus, and they still didn't get rid of us, and as I said before, now they are trying to kill us under the guise of protect and serve. I want to thank Reverend McBride for what he said earlier as he started the march, because this is to my allies. You cannot continue to support a racist, misogynistic, tyrannic, prejudicial, divisive, ignorant, and then we'll say something else if this wasn't the faith-based march, president, and say that you stand with us. I get calls every day from allies saying that they want to support the black community through this time. And all we've been asking for, for hundreds of years, is equity. All we've been asking for is equity. But if you, as our allies, really want to support us, then you support the policies that we fight for. With your vote, with your resources, and with your voice. We love you being out here with us in protest. We love you being out here with us in protest. But those other 364 days, when you can't hide behind a protest, when you can't hide behind a COVID mask, yeah. we need you standing with us every day. People ask continuously, what are we gaining through these protests? Well, I'm gonna tell you, so far, Minnesota is talking about dismantling their police department. The city of Los Angeles is talking about redirecting resources from the police department to the black community. Yeah. Mayor Breen and I announced that we will be redirecting resources from the police department to the black community. And I want to repeat unapologetically that we will be redirecting resources from the police department to the black community. So stop calling me with ideas that benefit other people. Because I'm serious about this when I say this. I fight for everybody. I fight for everybody. I fight for my LGBTQ brothers and sisters. I fight for my Latino brothers and sisters, for my Chinese brothers and sisters, for my Native American brothers and sisters, for everyone in this community. I fight 100% for you. But right now, 400 years of this right now, we are going to prioritize the black community
because it is our people that keep getting killed. It is our people that keep being oppressed. Right here in San Francisco. So before I go, because I know we have other people who want to speak, I, I have to say this because we just saw another murder in Atlanta. We saw a murder in Vallejo right after George Floyd was killed. Another young man, Sean Montessera from San Francisco. And this has continued to happen. But there's nothing more devastating when any person, any person, but a person in law enforcement can for eight minutes and 46 seconds. I want you to think about that. That's a long time. For eight minutes and 46 seconds. Leave his knee on the neck of a human being. Of a human being. So when we say black lives matter and you come back with that mantra of all lives matter, we're not stupid. We know and understand that. But for you to have your knee on someone's neck for eight minutes and 40 seconds means you don't give a damn about that life. So when we say Black Lives Matter, we mean stop killing our people. Thank you.